Chapter two, question, question number 52. An RLS series circuit is made up of a coil of 15 mini Henry and resistance of 10 ohm. If a coil has a resistance, then that coil is not a pure coil. So a coil which is not pure must be represented by a inductor and also a resistor. So I'm going to draw an inductor part and also a resistor part for this coil which is not pure uh, and coil has an inductance of 15 milli henry so I will record inductance in here 15 milli henry and also this coil has a resistance of 10 ohm I am going to represent by this resistance by RL because it is the uh, resistor of the coil so L indicates that or L indicates that it is the resistance of the coil 10 ohm and this coil is connected to a capacitor so I am going to locate a capacitor in here this capacitor has a capacitance of 200 microfarad and uh, another resistor is connected here in series with this uh, devices a resistor of resistance 12 ohm is connected to in series with other devices if the effective value of the source yes these sets up a AC circuit with a generator and this generator has a effective potential difference which is 100 volt so we effective is 100 volts and the frequency of this generator is 60 hertz A and find the effective value of the potential difference across the coil and capacitor and resistor. Now coil is not a pure so it consists of an inductor part and also a resistor part. So this dashed line represents the coil which is not pure. Uh, I need to know what potential differences across the resistor, across the capacitor, across the coil. Of course, to get the potential difference, I have to know what XL and XC. So R is, RL and R is given 10 and 12 ohm, but we have to calculate how much is XL for the uh, inductor part of the coil. So let's calculate it by equation. XL is equal to 2 pi F L so 2 pi is 6.28 F of the generator is 60 L is 15 millihenry millihenry converted 10 by 10 to the power of negative 3 so I'm going to use the calculator 6.28 times 60 times 15 times 10 to the power of negative 3 result is 5.65 so inductive impedance of this inductor part is equal to 5.65 ohm so let's record it in here so xl is calculated as 5.65 65 ohm. Also, I need to calculate Xc for the capacitor. Equation for calculating the capacitor, inductive capacitance is 1 over 2 pi Fc. So Xc is equal to 1 over 2 pi is 6.28. F is 60. Capacitance is 200 microfarad 
it must be converted to farad by 10 to the power of negative 6. So we should use a bracketed denominator. 1 divided by bracket 6.28 times 60 times 200 times 10 to the power of negative 6. Close the bracket. Answer is 13.3. So Xc is 13.3 ohm. So now let's decode Xc in here. 13.3 ohm. So I got XL, XC, RL, and R. I know all the oppositions of the device to the electric current. So first step is uh, okay. Now, uh, to calculate the potential difference for each device, I have to know electric current because in series, electric currents are equal. If I calculate electric current of total electric current of the generator, I, so then uh, I can say that this electric current also passes through the coil and capacitor and the resistor. So I can calculate potential difference across each element. First, I have to get the electric current. So electric current equation is, I will use the Ohm's law. Electric current is equal to uh, but total potential difference of the circuit is the generator's potential difference, which is uh, 100 volt, V effective divided by, I need to calculate Z, total impedance. Uh, Z is not uh, calculated. Let's calculate Z on the right side of this page. Z is equal to root of, for series combination, root of R squared plus XL minus XC squared is the Z. Now, go on, root of, but there are two resistors. Now, one resistor is the coil's resistance. The other one is the another device as a resistor. But uh, to get the total resistor, I have to add them. So coil's resistance is 10 ohm. And the resistor's resistance is 12 ohm. I have to add them in series because resistors are added. Squared plus XL minus XC. XL is 5.65 minus xc is 13.3 squared squared. Now let's find this. 10 plus 12 is 22, 22 squared plus bracket 5.65 minus 13.3 close the brackets and square it. Uh, inside the root is 5 542,000, blah, blah, blah. So let's get the square root of this number. So answer is 23.3. So Z inductive in uh, total impedance of the circuit is 23.3 ohm. Now I can calculate electric current of the circuit. Uh, I is equal to V effective. Effective value of the generator is given as 100. 100 divided by total impedance is 23.3. So electric current of the circuit is going to be 100 divided by 23.3, which is 4.3 ampere. So electric current of this circuit is 4.3 ampere. This 4.3 ampere uh, belongs to not only the generator, also, this 4.3 ampere is on the coil and also on the capacitor and also on the resistor. So, I can uh, calculate potential differences across the resistor, capacitor and coil one by one by using Ohm's law. Let's calculate now by using Ohm's law all. So let's start with the resistor. It is very easy. So uh, V across resistor, across resistor. So I will say it is VR. VR is going to be electric current multiplied by resistance of the resistor. Electric current is 4.3. We just calculated. 
R is 12 ohm. When we multiply this two, multiply by 12 ohm and 4.3, result is 51.5. So potential difference across the resistor is 51.5. Let me show it. This is the, what we calculated now. Potential difference across the resistor VR is 51.5. Now let's continue calculating uh, potential difference V across capacitor. So let's calculate it now. So we see, I will say it, it is electric current times XSC. Electric current is 4.3 times XC is 13.3. Now let's continue. 4.3 times. 13.3 is going to be 57.2 57.2 volt now let's show it we calculated now this potential difference between across the ends of the capacitor 57.2 volt and last device is the coil so coil uh, will take a little longer time because coil is not a pure. So uh, I have to think this impure coil just like a series combination of a resistor and a inductor. So that's why I have to calculate potential difference across the resistor part of the coil. And also I should calculate potential difference across the inductor part of the coil. One by one, let's find them. So I will calculate uh, V across the coil in here. That's why I have to calculate first potential difference across the XL part of the coil first. It is going to be I times XL. I is uh, 43 XL is 5.65. It's going to be, let's use the calculator, 4.3 times 5.65, which is going to be 25.3, pardon, 24.3. 24.3 volts is the uh, potential difference across the inductor part of the coil. Let me show it this part. So this potential difference is, I represent it by VXL, which is going to be 24.3, 24.3 volt until here. Okay, so, but this coil is not pure. So V4 across the coil, let me write this. So this is not, uh, Pure. That's why I have to also calculate potential difference across the resistor part of the coil. So we are L. It is going to be I times R. So I is 4.3. L if the of the in uh, resistor part of the coil is 10 ohm. It's given in here 10 ohm. Multiplied by 10. It's going to be 43 volt. So 43 volt is in here, so from here to there, a potential difference which I represent by VRL is going to be 43 volt. So, now I will find total potential difference of the coil, um, just like I will, I will now represent this uh, RL, uh, this coil, just uh, a combination of uh, VRL. We know that electric current and potential difference are in phase across the resistor part, but for inductor part, it must be per, uh, leading the electric current by 90 degrees. This is VXL part. So by using Pythagorean, I can calculate Potential difference across the coil, yani V coil. So now let's calculate potential difference across the coil. V coil is going to be root of VRL squared plus 
VXL squared. So uh, VRL, okay, let me write in here, a root of, let's go on, uh, VRL we calculated as 43, so squared plus V, XL part 24.3 squared. After that, I will calculate potential difference across the coil. 43 squared plus 24.3 squared and get the root. Result is 49.4. So 49.4 volt is the potential difference across the coil where I calculated, now I am going to show by um, uh, another color, let me use for this green color again. When I calculated potential difference across this uh, coil, inductor and resistor part of the coil, yani this potential difference for the 9.4 volt for the coil. So this is uh, the solution of this problem. As you see, it's a very long solution problem, uh, but it's not uh, that hard. If you uh, continue the steps, you can finish the solution. B part is just about the uh, resonance. Uh, it's about next title. Uh, that's why we, will solve. we can solve it when you learn the resonance. This is all about the solution of uh, chapter question, question number 52.